Hello Lions fans, just hit the like button if you truly love the Detroit Lions. One pride. For as long as the NFL draft has existed, the movement of draft picks from one team to another has been standard practice, and it's only become more prevalent over time. Teams are always looking to make a move to better position themselves for the players they've set their sights on in the draft, and they're willing to go to great lengths to get it done. Players, current draft picks, and even future draft picks are all on the table when it comes to negotiations, even coaches can be part of the calculus when it comes to outfitting your draft board. Brad Holmes, entering his third season as general manager of the Detroit Lions, has shown how unafraid he is to pick up a phone and find out what it will cost to make a move for the guys he has circled on his draft board. When the Lions were picking 7th overall in 2021, Holmes' first season as GM, he checked in with the Atlanta Falcons ahead of the draft to see what it would cost to move up for Jamar Chase. Ultimately, the price was too high for Holmes, but no harm and no foul in finding out. As that same draft was rolling along, Holmes reached out to a number of teams to see if there was a way Detroit could move up from the second round and select someone they deemed a first-round talent in defensive tackle Levi Amuserik. Again, Holmes didn't end up making a deal, but still ended up with the player he wanted when the Lions practiced patience and selected Amuserik with pick number 41. And in last year's draft, Holmes finally found the right price with the Minnesota Vikings and jumped at the opportunity to move up 20 spots in the first round to select wide receiver Jameson Williams. On one hand, you might not appreciate the conviction Holmes has in targeting specific players in the draft. By standing pat in 2021 and waiting for the board to fall to him, he mitigated the damage that could have been even more costly had he moved up to select on Muserich, a player whose injuries prevented him from playing football at all last season. On the other hand, you could appreciate the trust Holmes has in his and his scouting department's ability to evaluate football prospects and wait for the right deal to make a move, like when he actually gained value by moving up in the aforementioned deal for Williams. Tell me, Lions fan, what do you have to say about this news? Leave your comment below. I'm signing off for now, but I'll be back later with more Detroit Lions news. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. One pride.